Hi, I'm Dr. Mark B. Hubble, and this is your Monday morning mini message. Yesterday was Father's Day, and it was a time to celebrate for a lot of people out there. But for a certain section of people, it wasn't really a time for celebration or a time for joy or happiness. It was a time of sadness or depression or even anger at their earthly father. I preach at a group home for children, and my message yesterday was about our Heavenly Father, the perfect Father, not the earthly Father, who can be fallible and capable of making mistakes. Some of these kids were abused by their parents. Some of these kids are separated from their parents because they're from other countries, and it's hard to relay a message about God as our Father without that stirring up some type of negative emotion in some of these kids and even some of the people that I'm around that are adults now. So my message was to understand and convey the difference between our earthly Father and our Heavenly Father. In 1 John 3, 1, it says, See how our Heavenly Father loves us. He calls us His children because that is what we are. All right, we are God's children, and He is the perfect Father. He is the Holy Father, and He wants what's best for us. So if we feel like we might be getting punished or disciplined by our Father, just think of it as that, just being disciplined. Um, if I get out of line or step out of character, I need that kick in the rear end to get me back on track. And if I have to face consequences, I have to face consequences. But those consequences I face are God disciplining me out of love. He wants me to be the best person I can be. So I have to endure these things in order to be stronger when it's all said and done. So while this may have been a joyous occasion for some, it wasn't for others. And it's important that we differentiate between what the Bible calls our Father in heaven and our earthly Father. Let's not put too high of expectations on our earthly fathers and let's not beat ourselves up if you're a father and you feel like you might have fallen short in how you raised your kids. There's always a chance at redemption in that department. So think about this as you go about your week. You are a child of God. God loves you and wants the best for you. So I think it's important that we love him back and try to do what he wants us to do because it's in our best interest and it's a sign that we love our Creator the way our Creator loves us. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Take care and God bless.